Hey everyone, Doug Parkin here. Today we're going to be talking about Halloween decorations. I'm going to start out today's video with making hands. People have asked me many times why I like hands so much. Out of the several years that I've been doing decorating for Halloween, the two things that I have found that you absolutely can't get enough of is hands and skulls. And in videos we are going to be talking about both of those, but we're going to start today with hands. What we're going to do is just heat up some water and uh, just get it to almost the boiling point. And then we're just going to stick the ends into the water and just get those heated up a little bit. Only takes a minute or so. And so as that heats up here, we can even just check that and see if that's hot enough yet. And we just kind of want to just pinch it down. on each side and that's fine just the way that is and take this one and do the same thing and that's all we need to do on that step and that's it just uh, two pieces pinched over. Now that we have the pinched ends on the PVC, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and mark them for the hands. The only thing that's really critical here to remember is that you've got a left hand and a right hand, so don't mark them both the same. All we want to do is just take a marker and just put oh, about an eighth of an inch down, put four whole, four marks across the top, and then one down on the side about an inch or so down. And that would be your left hand. And then four more marks. Kind of mess that one up there. And then down about an inch on this side. And that would be your right hand. Just because drills jump a lot, what I like to do is just go in and just make a little bit of a start on those holes just so that, that drill bit gets a chance to get started on there and doesn't skip around two hands that have the holes drilled in them now the next thing we're going to do is do the fingers this is just done with a metal hanger you can generally get one whole hand done, all the fingers, from one piece of hanger wire. I just like to just lay out a little bit, something to just measure with. And then um, I'll take my wire cutters. The longest finger, which is always this one right here, uh, go about eight and three quarters. They don't really measure anything, but that's the longest one. And so you're going to want to do another one, maybe about an eight and a half. Maybe two at about eight and a half. Uh, one at about eight. And then you just got the leftover one, because we're going to clip them shorter anyway as time goes on. Now take your take your wires and just take your pliers and bend them over about a quarter of an inch in and kind of in a hook like that on each one of them. And what this is going to do is we're going to hook this into the hand and these will be our fingers. So you're going to kind of want to just lay them out and see which ones are the longer ones and so forth and trying to figure out which fingers you want for what. Okay, and we just take one of our pieces that we've drilled holes in. We're going to take it and push the end in each hole and lock it in there. Like that. And kind of space them out a little bit so that it actually looks like fingers. And don't be confused, this isn't representing our hand where the fingers stick out. This actually represents clear back to the back by our wrist. And so there's our hand. 
and just kind of space them out about like that so it kind of looks like a hand. So the next thing we're going to do is take our duct tape and we're going to just kind of secure those fingers in place. I use several pieces of duct tape as I do this. to do is build this the actual body of the hand. just of our hand. And so as you kind of hold it up there, it kind of feels in that area like that is what we're going to build. Of course the wires are too long, but that's good because it makes it easier as we're working on the end. It bends where the joints would bend. But uh, these big pins work great. Like I was saying earlier, you can get uh, 10 of them for under a dollar. And so I I have not been able to find plastic tubing uh, that is rigid uh, for any cheaper than that. So even though it's kind of hard for me to do this, we kind of waste these pens by taking out the insides of them. And, uh, and that's what we use for this. So there's five pens for five fingers. What we're going to do is about an inch down on the end, cut each one of them. That's going to be the end for each finger. And then we have to remember none of these measurements are exact at all. Uh, we, we're just trying to get the basic fingers and the shapes in there, the lengths. So there's our ends. Now on the rest of the fingers we have to remember that uh, this finger here is a little bit longer. And so what we're going to do is cut two of them about an inch and a half. And that right there with the end makes one finger. Since that's the longest one, the next one, let's just kind of go an inch and three eighths for two of them. Does another finger. All right, then another finger. Let's just make it a little bit shorter, or maybe go an inch and a quarter for two of them. And then let's do the small finger at an inch, and anywhere from an inch to an inch and a quarter, somewhere in there, and then you've got your end. Then the last thing is your thumb. You do That one's only got two joints on it, so make one at about an inch and a half, and about an inch and three eighths. And then we're just going to load them on. Here's your thumb. What we're going to do next, and we're going to secure these on. Just kind of hold them down, take your pliers, bend it over. And we're just going to make this so that as we build our hands, these fingers, the ends won't fall off. We don't want them tight because we're going to be still doing some bending on them. But with the lengths on there like that now, now we're going to go back with our wire clippers cut off uh, so that you still got about a quarter of an inch on the end there. And then 
some of those are going to stick out a little bit, so you might want to take those and just bend them over. And then this is going to secure them onto the hand and make sure that these fingers stay put. This is basically the importance why we're doing this here is that now we're actually going to be bending the fingers and so we don't want things popping off and doing weird things on us as we do that. But here we have it, it's all secure and now we can do whatever we want as far as bending the fingers to bend them at the joints and do what we want to do with them. I know that um, and just what, whatever you're trying to do. I know that uh, I had one come out of the ground and had the finger pointing like it was pointing at something. Or just whatever you want to do it. And then just bend it just a little bit at this also. And there you have a hand that is ready to start putting the cotton balls and glue on it to start building up the, the thickness on the hand. The next step that we're going to want to do is to add just a little bit of bulk to the wrist and the forearm of this hand. Uh, I do this just by taking some scrap paper and crumpling it up. You can use newspaper, any kind of scrap. What I'm doing here is I've just got an old uh, carnival poster from my last Halloween party and just going to rip some of that up to kind of fit around that. Now we're going to take it and wrap it around the wrist, give it a little bit of bulk. At that point, once we get that wrapped around, we're going to take some of this duct tape, tape that onto it, and uh, even the more crumpled the better, because as we do that, it's going to add a little bit of texture to it when we paint it. It doesn't even have to be totally coated with the tape. Just tape it on and get that on there. And what this is going to do is this is going to set us up for getting to the next step of actually adding the cotton ball with the glue. I take the glue and I mix it with water just to dilute it down a little bit. It uh, makes it spread a lot uh, farther and um, allows us to be able to work it a little bit better. You'll notice that I'm wearing gloves at this point. That's because the glue that I use it is an exterior glue and it will stain your hands after a while. We're just going to take the cotton balls, dip it into the glue, add them onto the hand, and start building it up. As you add the cotton balls on there, just make sure that you are building the, not just adding them on, but uh, building up the joints and everything so that they're thicker uh, especially the knuckles on the back of the hand and the palm of the hand. At this point we're going to uh, take it and add the fingernails. It's uh, wet and so we're just going to take the fingernails and press them on. The fingernails don't have to be shaped or cut or anything at this point because what we're going to do is uh, just press them down hard into the wet glue and then as it dries, it will leave a big dent in it. Uh, so it kind of gives that realistic look of the skin folding over the fingernail. After it dries, you can pop it off very easily, shape the fingernails after it's been painted, and then glue them back on with like a super glue. And that's how we do. Now we've got our finished hand. So here's just a few samples of some of the hands that I've done want to just kind of show this to you and, and also notice that uh, a lot of the hands are in different colors so it doesn't really matter what kind of base color you're going to use you can always make them look like ghoulish or deadish or ghostish or whatever but um, not going into any tutorial on these uh, just hopefully give you some ideas on how to finish them if you would like some ideas on how to paint these uh, let me know and I'll put together a tutorial on uh, just painting hands. Thanks for watching, and if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.